1928, Alexander Fleming discovered penicillin, a life-saving medicine for mold. Nature has always been a source of medicine. Today, yet another natural compound is capturing scientists' attention, psilocybin. Not yet in pharmacies, but in clinical research, it's showing something rare, hope. Imagine severe depression, your thoughts are like skiers carving the same icy trails over and over, unable to escape. This mental rut is reinforced by the default mode network, the brain's hub for self-reflection and memory. When it's overactive, your thoughts loop endlessly like skiers trapped in the same slopes. The brain needs a shakeup. Enter psilocybin. Once ingested, it metabolizes into psilocin, a molecule almost identical to serotonin. Psilocin binds to special receptors on neurons, flipping switches that disrupt rigid brain activity. Zoom in, and you find cortical microcircuits. They're mostly made up of excitatory neurons, which drive signals forward, and inhibitory interneurons, which regulate and fine-tune activity. These interneurons aren't all the same. Some, like PV, SST, and VIP cells, each play specialized roles in keeping brain activity balanced. In depression, these circuits fire in stiff synchronized rhythms. Psilocin shakes these circuits like fresh snow, covering a slope, allowing signals to flow along new paths. This increases neural entropy, a measure of brain signal flexibility and complexity. Brain scans confirm this, the DMN quietens, while hidden pathways light up, strengthened by the brain-derived neurotropic factor, the protein that helps neurons grow, adapt, and rewire. In a 2021 John Hopkins study, just two psilocybin sessions coupled with therapy improved symptoms in over 70% of patients more than half achieve full remission. All under strict clinical supervision. It isn't magic. It's molecular. A recipe sparked by a careful science offering new opportunities to millions trapped on the slopes of depression.